It is the task of NDLEA to stop all this unacceptable nonsense of drug abuse, drug trafficking, Nigeria is the only country we have, we cannot fold our arms. We can, will, and must eliminate the drug scourge. The clandestine and illicit nature of the drug trade over the years had always necessitated the need for intense vigilance on the part of the law enforcement agents worldwide. The case of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA is not an exception as the deployment of robust intelligence has been at the heart of the agency's operations. The Directorate of Intelligence, which is saddled with the responsibility of generating actionable information for the agency, is our focus on this episode of NDLEA Today. You are welcome. Also in this episode, we will be highlighting the colossal loss suffered by investors in the licit drug business as eagle-eyed operatives of the agency seized assorted illicit substances worth more than 1.3 billion naira in multiple operations. Executive summary, news highlights, do you know, and the feedback segments complete the package for this week. Once again, glad to have you join us. Welcome to NDLEA Today, your weekly guide on the activities of the NDLEA. On the news highlights for this week's episode of NDLEA Today. NDLEA commissions new lie detector. Nigerian Copyright Commission to partner NDLEA. Pastor arrested with three drums of Nkurumiri in a Kwaibom state. In its bid to enhance the operations of its officers and men at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has commissioned its new eye-based lie detector system facility at the MMIA Lagos. The commissioning was performed by the Chairman Chief Executive of the NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Boba Mara retired on Friday, 5th August 2022. The move, which has been applauded by stakeholders, was witnessed by senior officers of the agency, representatives of other security agencies, and other invited guests. The commissioning, which is coming on the heels of that of the 24 hour toll free call center, is part of the innovations being introduced by the agency in the war against drug abuse efforts of the NDLEA under the current leadership. The Nigerian Copyright Commission has expressed its willingness to partner the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, as it strives to rid the nation of the drug scourge. The Director General of the Nigerian Copyright Commission, NCC, Dr. John D. O. Assain, disclosed this when he led the leadership of his organization on a courtesy visit to the national headquarters of the NDLEA recently. The NCCDG, who was received by top officials of the NDLEA, led by its chairman, chief executive of the agency, Brigadier General Mohamed Bubamara, retired, 
applauded the remarkable feat recorded so far by the NDLEA under its current leadership. He further expressed the willingness of his agency to contribute their own quota to the drug war as the drug menace has become a threat to all and sundry. There's always a network of criminals. It won't be surprising that those who are involved in uh, drug issues will also have part of their legs or one leg in the area of piracy. They have one leg in other criminal activities. So from what we have seen, it is important for uh, enforcement agencies to at least synergize and share information. The chairman chief executive of the NDLEA in his remarks thanked the NCC management for the visit and assured them of his readiness to work with all well-meaning individuals and organizations as he strives to lead the NDLEA to deliver on its mandate of making the country drug free. The drug stores in the country demands collaborative efforts. With nearly 15 million, and this is talking statistics of 2018, I'm sure it's more than that now. Um, all hands from here and there, and we are happy to work together. Chairman Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa retired, has received the Blueprint Newspaper Public Official of the Year 2021 Award. The award plaque was presented to the NDLEA boss in his office on Tuesday, 23rd August 2022 by the chairman of the newspaper's editorial board, Hajia Zainab Suleiman Okino, who led the delegation from the media house. In her brief remarks, the veteran journalist noted that Marwa was given the award because of the unprecedented transformation he has brought to the anti-narcotic agency within the short time he assumed leadership. In his response, Marwa commended the chairman and management of the newspaper for their contribution to the socio-economic development of the country. The manner with which you present articles, certainly you have certain insights on how you get some of your news that uh, others don't get. So we appreciate your work and the achievements of Blueprint and we wish you more success um, in this industry. A trans-border drug dealer, Pastor Anieti Okone Fiong, has been arrested by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, with three drums of crystal methamphetamine, locally called Unkurumiri, believed to have been imported from India. The consignment weighing 90 kilograms and loaded into a commercial bus with registration number RSH691XC was intercepted during a stop and search operation along Umahia Ikorekpene Highway on Saturday, 6 August 2022. The recovered meth drums which were meant for onward delivery to the Republic of Cameroon belonged to Pastor Aniti Okonefiong who was arrested in a follow-up operation at his Oron base in Oron Akwaibom State.
The Chairman Chief Executive of the NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa, retired, had commended the leadership and officials of the Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry, CADAM, for the good work they are doing while urging them to keep up saying. Marwa gave the charge during a visit to CADAM Rehabilitation Center in Agada, Ekme, Lagos State, recently. The NDLEA bus, who was conducted round the rehab facility by the management of the center, was quite appreciative of the contribution of the center in addressing the drug abuse challenge facing the nation. He encouraged other faith-based organizations to emulate such laudable initiative. The NDLEA boss also addressed clients of the rehab center during the visits. Yes, it's true. Drugs are a vice in our society, costing lives and huge economic losses. But the story is not the same because the game has changed. It's a red card for drugs in Nigeria. There is a new sheriff in town. Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa is moving hard and fast with full speed and precision to rid the country of the drug scourge. NDLEA Today is a program that gives you a front seat in understanding the highs and lows, the laws of drug enforcement in the country. Join us every Monday from half past 5 to 6 p.m. on the network service of the NTA, Africa's largest TV network. NDLEA Today. Don't miss it. The Directorate of Intelligence primary responsibility revolves around the collection, exchange and use of intelligence. The Directorate furnishes other components of the agency with credible, actionable intelligence in the form of target profile analysis, criminal business profile, net worth analysis, operational intelligence assessment and risk analysis and more, which facilitates proactive policing, targeting and distribution of criminal networks in drug trafficking and production. When you talk of intelligence, is trying to get useful information that you will process it, that will lead you to how you can get what you are looking for. This time around, drug trafficking. If you want to arrest a drug trafficker, you need a useful information on him. I can tell you that most times, the kind of work we do is not in the open because if the bad guys also know, I mean the criminals, know that you are going after them, then you can never get anything. They will always outsmart you. Among its other duties, the Directorate of Intelligence is responsible for visa clearance on intending travelers to drug source countries maintaining criminal database, coordination of the exchange of intelligence with foreign collaborators, supervision and coordination of activities of NDLEA liaison officers in foreign mission Interpol, ONSA, and so on. Liaising with other law enforcement agencies and stakeholders in Nigeria in the sharing of intelligence. Polygraph and vetting of staff of the agency. The difficult position we find ourselves in in the country today coming to crime. Information, required information, is scarce. If it is only NDLA because it is their job to fight drugs and the public leave it to them, I can tell you there's only little we can do. So it requires the, the support of the entire public. Because it's our problem and we have to own it and fight it together. The new drive of offensive action of the Brigadier General Mohammed Buba Marwa led leadership had necessitated a spike in the operations of the Directorate, 
with outstanding successes in seizures and arrests being recorded in the process. The difference in the present management is he is the chairman, the honorable chairman to be executive officer is somebody who wants a result. And whatever it will take you to get the result for him, he will give it to you. And it's not just result, quality result. Because looking from my own angle, once we receive information, we must go the extra mile to process it to get to the root of that information. Investors in the illicit drug business have continued to count their losses as the anti-drug agency continue to ensure that they do not reap the benefits of their humongous investment in the drug trade. The latest in the list of losses recorded includes the recent massive loss when the NDLEA intercepted illicit substances worth more than 1.3 billion naira in several interdictions in different parts of the country. Leading to the retinue of seizures is the interception of 2,750,000 tablets of tramadol, 225 milligrams weighing 1,650 kilograms worth 1,375,000,000 naira at the Apapa port in Lagos. The consignment packed in 55 cartons of tapentadol and carispadol types of tramadol was seized during examination of a container number SUDU 7538656 on Saturday, 30th July, following credible intelligence. On Monday, 25th July, a Dubai UAE bound passenger, Miss Ebodagae Gloria, was intercepted during the outward clearance of travelers on Rwanda Air via Kigali to Dubai. Discovered in her luggage were sachets of tramadol, 225 milligrams, concealed inside Gari, a cassava product, packed among other foodstuff. The following day, a total of 50 blocks of cannabis sativa with a total weight of 27.1 kilogram concealed inside a large quantity of crayfish going to London, UK, as part of a consolidated cargo were seized at the Sarko export shed. In a related development, a Dubai-bound female passenger, Emma Bradu Precious Rachel, was arrested with 1.8 kilogram cannabis packed inside beta leaf in her luggage while attempting to board Rwanda air flight to UAE via Kigali. We continue to warn through this segment every week that you risk losing it all if you get involved in the drug business because NDLEA will get you anytime, any day. You they drag them go, you they drag you down. What I come out for my eyes, oh, when I remember all the guys, oh, hey, many of them kick it for ghetto, some cut to ghetto, make we no forget, oh, but they talk it, oh, say. Body, oh. I go with your busy body, oh. 
body. If you die, you go sad, oh. Oh, yeah, help me tell somebody. This message is brought to you by the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA. Do you know? Do you know that the term inhalants refers to the various substances that people typically take only by inhaling? These substances include solvents, aerosol sprays, gases, and nitrates. Inhalants are various products easily bought and found in the home or workplace, such as spray paints, markers, glues, and cleaning fluids. They contain dangerous substances that have mind-altering properties when inhaled. Do you know that people who use inhalants breathe in the fumes through their nose or mouth? It is usually by sniffing, snorting, bagging, or huffing or any other way, depending on the substance and the equipment they use. Although the high that inhalants produce usually lasts just a few minutes, people often try to make it last by continuing to inhale again and again over several hours. Do you know that most inhalants affect the central nervous system and slow down brain activity? Short-term effects of taking inhalants are similar to alcohol and include slurred or distorted speech, lack of coordination, feeling high and dizziness. People may also feel lightheaded or hallucinations or delusions. With repeated inhalations, many people feel less self-conscious and less in control. Do you know that there are some severe health effects of inhalants? Long-term effects of inhalants may include liver and kidney damage, hearing loss, bone marrow damage, loss of coordination and leap spasms, delayed behavioral development, and brain damage. So, why indulge in inhalants? Be wise by avoiding it. Kabiru Danjuma from Kano ask, Marijuana is just a plant. Is it really that dangerous? Here's your answer. Yes, marijuana is a plant, but it has very real health consequences, including drug addiction. While some people think marijuana is a harmless drug, actual experience and the real science show a different reality. Next is Ngozi Godwin from Abakili Kebony State. Her question. How do I know if I or someone close to me is addicted to alcohol or drugs? The short answer is if you or someone close to you is having a problem with alcohol or drugs and they continue to use, it's time to get help. Continued use despite negative consequences is a powerful indicator of addiction. Ajia Meilafia from Kefi, Nasarawa State asks, does marijuana use lead to the use of other drugs? Here's your answer. While most marijuana smokers do not go on to use other illegal drugs, long-term studies show that using marijuana puts people in contact with people who are users and sellers of other drugs and are more likely to be exposed to and urged to try other drugs. Thank you for your questions. We look forward to seeing more questions and comments from you. Please do not forget that you can reach us through NDLEA today at ndlea.gov.ng or ndlea today at gmail.com. The feedback segment concludes our package for this week. 
Let's continue the conversation on ndlea.gov.ng or ndlea at gmail.com. Thank you for being part of it today and bye for now.